Hello everyone! Today we are making the blouse for this Edwardian outfit project thing. Um, that was originally supposed to be the opera dress, but it's not the opera dress because the world is crazy and everything shut down. Anyway, we're still getting content up, we're still being awesome, we're still doing great. Anyway, let's, uh, let's make the blouse! Um, I used my block shirt pattern, which I use for a lot of blouses that I make. If you are interested in me making more patterning tutorials, let me know down in the comments. It's something we can do. We, you want to cut out a front and back of the body pieces, two sleeves, and a collar piece. And you'll also want to cut out two cuffs for each sleeve while ignoring your sugar glider running around your table. Joe was not settling down, so I quickly put him into his pouch and then continued on with the project by putting some press-on interfacing onto the collar pieces. I used a press cloth because my iron and interfacing don't get along very well, but if they have a mediator, they do pretty well. The next step is to sew the shoulder seams together. Then I went ahead and pressed those shoulder seams open. Afterwards, I pressed the um, shirt in half just to make a good crease so I knew where I would want to put that facing on. I also pressed the facing in half before I pinned it all together um, using those pressed lines as a guide. Once you have sewn the facing on, you will need to cut it. I'm sorry, my head's in the way. You can't see what I'm doing, but that's what I'm doing in this clip, I promise. Um, after you cut it open, you will want to turn it and press it so everything na lays nice and flat. And then you will want to turn those raw edges under and sew over them. That way the facing doesn't flip out or act weird. It's all contained and looks nice. After you put the facing in, it is time to work on the collar. I don't know where this footage went. I swear I filmed it. To kind of describe to you what I did, um, I used my typical apron stitching technique to put the collar piece on, um, making sure that I eased everything in nice and neat, as well as finished it as evenly as I could. After the collar, it was time to put on the sleeves, so I went ahead and marked where the center of the sleeve is to the shoulder seam, and then I just went ahead and lined up all of the edges, making sure to pleat the excess of the sleeve head into the top of the arm's eye, um, right where that shoulder seam or middle pin is. Once you have the sleeve pinned to the arm's eye, you want to sew it all together. Then I started at the sleeve cuff um, and sewed all the way down the sleeve and side seams. All in one go. Same seam. Just do the thing. When both of the sleeve side seams were done, I went ahead and hemmed the bottom of the shirt. And then I pressed that hem nice and flat before moving on to putting the cuffs onto the sleeves. The first step was to measure out how much elastic I wanted in these cuffs because I didn't want to bother with having button, buttonhole, placket stuff. So we're putting elastic in the sleeves. So I sewed the sleeve cuffs together so they formed nice rounds. Then I measured out the four quadrants on the cuff as well as on the bottom of the sleeve. That way I could even out the extra bulk that was in the sleeve and pleat it nicely into the cuff. Then my camera died without me realizing it, so... Same basic steps as I do any time I attach a collar or a cuff. 
I stitched it to the wrong side of the fabric and then apron stitched it to the right side of the fabric. I was very careful because I sewed in the elastic at the same time I was apron stitching it. If I would have caught the elastic at any point, it would have made the elastic stagnant instead of free floating, um, which would have caused problems. But I took my time, I went slow, made sure that everything was nice. And with that, we have a finished blouse. This outfit turned out really cute. So I hope you enjoyed the process of making this Edwardian outfit from the foundations up. I know I definitely did. I'm excited to put all of these pieces into my regular wardrobe and you will definitely be seeing me wearing them more often. All right, thank you so much for sticking around, especially through this entire series. I don't know what we're doing next, but we'll figure that out. Bye, guys.